Yo, what's going on guys? My name is Sinister Skater. Welcome to the channel. In this video, we're talking all about the Damascus camo. I want to showcase it for you guys and kind of compare it to my very first impressions, of course, that I made in like my platinum video and just the camo videos in general, but also compare it to the other top, I guess you call them ultimate camos in past Call of Duty games like Dark Matter, so on and so on. And also just give you a few tips while you're going through if you're trying to get the best camo as well to make things a little less frustrating because there were some very frustrating points going on this long journey. So I got the masses camo about two weeks ago. It was the most grindiest uh, camo grind for all the Call of Duty games thus far. The time was a little bit longer than like what it took me last year. But how you unlock the mask camo, if you guys don't know, you have to pretty much unlock every single camo in the game for all the launch weapons. You gotta get gold for all the weapons, which means you gotta get plat, which means you gotta unlock every single freaking camo in the game. Then when you get it, you get this cool looking camo, which I just learned is actually, there's this thing called Damascus Steel, which actually has these weird squiggly line engravings on the weapons. Um, so you got that kind of design going with all different shades of blue, light blue. There's even like a, I guess you'd call it chromes. And uh, the orange lines, which I think the orange lines are what makes this camo look somewhat decent. Because in my initial Platinum video, I said, you know, Platinum's kind of disappointing. It's not that cool compared to Diamond Camos that we got in the past games. I'm looking at Damascus in the preview windows and pretty much thinking the same exact thing when we're comparing to, like, older Dark Matter Camos and stuff. And my initial opinion still kind of holds true. I do have a little bit more appreciation for Damascus now. But it is a little bit disappointing. And the just all the ultimate Camos in this game are a little bit disappointing. The design just doesn't do much for me. I don't know how to explain it other than that, especially comparing it to older Call of Duty games when you have camos like Dark Matter and Solar and even some of the Diamond camos. I can't think of what World War II's was and some of the other ones, but a lot of them were like animated. They're really cool looking. And then we get to Modern Warfare and you just got this basic looking Damascus camo. It, it, I do like that it shines. It's one of the only, actually, yeah, this and gold and platinum camo are the only shiny camos in the game. Um, but you still got more vibrant camos like Red Tiger in this game that just draw the eye more. I do like the little orange streaks. It looks better than what I would expect it to. But I guess overall the Damascus camo is still disappointing. It's not as bad as I thought it was. When we compare it to other camos in the game, it's much better than Platinum. I think Platinum's the worst camo that we've gotten out of these so far. Uh, gold, I think I pretty much put it on par with Damascus. I've seen myself switching between Gold and Damascus for just camos that I'm using in-game. But even, again, some of the, like I said in Platinum, some of the just base camos in this game I can still see myself using. Like Red Tiger, even the Mutineers camo that I just got from the COD World League packs i do like the design of that one uh in just some of the earth tones in this game I, I still can see myself using just to switch it up a little bit because the ultimate camos in this game just aren't too great looking so those are my thoughts on damascus camo kind of disappointing overall uh before we end the video i do want to just give you a couple tips if you are still going for damascus camo uh first ones first the rpg believe it or not out of all of the weapon challenges was the most infuriating camo to unlock damascus on because you have to get a lot of like vehicle destroys and all these things don't track well so you're kind of just guessing and checking what you got to hit but you also have to take out a bunch of support streaks like uavs which are nearly impossible to take out i feel like with this with the way the projectile speed works and you have to lead your shots and just the randomness of the rpg is not always going to go straight where you want to hit it so you have higher odds of taking out like count uavs and personal radars but even then those things are still kind of hard to do and in general the launchers were some of the most tedious weapons to go through i highly recommend you use double xp double weapon xp tokens on the launchers and try to play like shipment 24 7 wherever possible and just make sure you get that thing all the way up to i think they go up to like level 31 make sure you get those max levels before you start going for the individual challenges because there's a lot of overlapping challenges with the launchers and you can get a lot of duplicate progress done when you have everything already unlocked but a lot of the like all the primaries are easy to do pistols are easy to do whenever like shipment 24 7 comes around make sure you're doing the launchers on there i'd recommend doing the combat knife on shipment as well and the riot shield on shipment and when you're using the riot shield try to play hardcore because it is a one-hit kill in hardcore just the way it's in the game right now it's just really wonky 
uh, weird hit detection, like auto aim stuff going on with it. It's really weird. But yeah, if I had to go back and give myself tips, that would be what I would tell myself. Let me know what you guys think about it down below in the comments. Do you think this is one of the best camos ever in Call of Duty? Are you kind of disappointed with it? Let's have a chat down below. But as always, guys, hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, you get the bell notification. I'll see you notified when my videos go live. Check the links down below in the description if you want to help support my channel. That's going to be it. My name is Cater. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.